and show you how to record onto the Connect Studio and how to replay it. So you're looking for the Connect icon, one with the three symbols underneath. So that will start your recorder. And it'll ask you to launch an app. So if you launch your toolkit, um, we'll use the standard Connect Explorer D2D. So if you run that, you'll now see me on the screen. Right, so if we go back, if you click the, the button again, it'll bring up this prompt. Um, it will say, please launch a Connect enabled app and then press the re refresh button. Obviously, you've just launched the Connect Explorer. So if you press refresh, you'll then see your Connect coming up. We're using a PC to demonstrate this, but it's exactly the same on um, on the tablets. Right, the record bar, that now becomes active. Red button, record. So you can see that recording there. Uh, in the meantime, just let that record for a while. And then the blue one with the square in the middle is stop. You can see your recording there now. Uh, the little disc will save it. And then if you want to replay it, you just press F5 or the green play button. So I'll just have to pop back to, um, oop, you'll see that playing back there, obviously. Um, you can scroll that backwards and forwards and you can go through the diff different, so you can flip to the depth mode. Um, all right, so. There we go, play. So if I press stop, um, if I then kill that, it'll hopefully ask me if I want to save a recording. If you do, press yes. If you don't, then just press no. So you're back into the live, live stream mode there. Um, again, a few people have asked us how to flip into infrared and the different modes. So the default is a red, green, blue resolution. For low res you can um, push that up to a high res so you'll see you've got a high resolution image there now you can put it into your mode and also into the raw raw modes so um the fps after each means the frames per second so you ideally want your 30 so you're getting a smoother image so if i drop it into 12 um, you'll then see that things strobe a little bit. So, uh, again, if I flip that into 30 frames per second, it'll be of a lower resolution, but the picture's a lot smoother. Right, finally, uh, the infrared mode, that'll put the pin sensors, um, an infrared stream. If you want to flip it, um, through to the different streams you can go view switch and then that will put the depth mode into place as well right hopefully uh, you found that useful and it's all on screen thanks